Jared here and today I am in Rochester, Michigan continuing a series that I started almost a year ago where we go around or Lindsay and I go around and film downtown areas and today we're back at it doing it. Uh, it's been a long time since we filmed so I'm pretty excited to get out there and do this. At the end of this video I'll kind of explain and go into a, a little bit more detail of my plan for this downtown series but in the meantime we're going to get right into walking around, taking a look at Rochester, and then we're going to eat at a fairly unique restaurant called Rochester Mills that has an interesting story that we'll go over when we get to that portion. This looks like it would be a cute little store catching fireflies. It, I think it's built in this old train depot. Yeah, yeah, for sure, right? Yeah. That's, that's what this building looks like. It looks really cute. I'll probably take a look inside here. I don't know if I'll be able to film. I've noticed these little shops in towns like this. Uh, I don't necessarily look favorably upon that. <laughs> that is really cute. I like this. Shop online, catchingfireflies.com. There you go. to show a little bit of it but the store this building is a lot longer than the store so they must have quite a bit of storage space in the back of it don't you think I don't think it goes pretty far not not as far as no this no. well anyway that was a fun little distraction let's get a look at the downtown we're almost to the downtown area I saw this on my way in it's not open but it looks really cool it's called Dino's Cookie Dough Bar. Oh, you know what? Is it an ice cream? It looks like it. Uh, I don't know. I know. I think it's cookie dough. Yeah, no, it says cookie dough. But it looks like ice cream. Yeah. Too bad it's oh, not it's open. What? <laughs> yeah, it's closed. Oh. This is, well, it's the July 4th weekend here. <laughs> if it was ice cream, it's only like, I don't know, what do you think? It's a beautiful day, mid 80s? Yeah. Something like that. A yeah. little bit of a breeze, it's kind of chilly. Uh, but, no, it feels good. Nah, chilly. And we have reached the main downtown area. I'm excited to go walk around. I thought it would be busy and have a lot of stuff open because it's the 4th of July weekend, but looks like a lot of places have closed early. They do have a lot of cool shops, but closed. Oh, that's a clever way of telling people you're closed <laughs> with a shirt. <laughs> what do you think of this? It says Monday closed, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, 11 to whatever. Does Sunday not exist in this business's uh, calendar? Apparently the closing time doesn't either, it's... Yeah, I guess oh, no. it's like... Well, how does it feel to have 
a huge doofus for a husband that takes you to all these cool little towns when they're closed <laughs> instead of when they're open. <laughs> I like looking and seeing what they have. Yeah. They just have to bring you back here when they're open. <laughs> Yeah, I guess the, the benefit is nothing's open to have to buy you like ice cream and yeah, expensive like things. <laughs> this building is awesome looking. Wow. And it's a bakery, you would like that. Although it looks, I'll take a look in the window here in a second, but it looks like it uh, primarily sells cake or not cake. I mean, I Isn't that a show awesome. or something? You could if it was open. But that's what it looks like a... Oh no, there's cupcakes and stuff in there. What a bummer. It's really nice looking. But I love the architecture of this one. There's a list of a lot of the events they have through September. Let's see, we're in July. I don't see a closed AF entry. But magical mural tour, September 5th through the 30th. That sounds cool. Yeah, it does. One of the things I love most about going through downtowns is looking at the old building fronts and seeing what people do in their windows for decoration. That's really cool. This is a flower shop. Oh my goodness, what is this? It's a water well. Uh, even without the camera, you can't really see down there. Interesting. Pioneer era water well. We're starting to notice a couple of these drawings of the old buildings in some of the windows. For instance, this right here. Looked like it was the old theater. Main Street Plaza. I could see that. If you look in there, it looked like there was stuff open, but the doors were locked. Some more drawings. I like that. That's a that's a good idea. Yeah, it is. Well, it's almost time to go and eat. But what do you think of this little town so far? I like it. It's a lot bigger than I thought it would be. Yeah, it's a it's a nice little downtown. Very pretty. I think I saw like a little river walk up here. We take just like a quick glance at that. And then we'll head over to Rochester Mills for dinner. Well, dinner time, and as I stated earlier, we're gonna be eating at Rochester Mills Beer Company. This is a really cool building with an interesting story that I'll show you here in just a second. I have fortunately had the opportunity here a couple times, and I do enjoy it, and this is the main reason we came down here. So this restaurant is inside the old Western Knitty Mill, Knitting Mills. So it looks like they used to make Yarn, wool, wool socks, gloves, mittens, 
And it said here it was one of the largest employers in the area. And it, it's a pretty sweet restaurant. As I said, I've never walked through Rochester or seen the downtown, but I have eaten at this restaurant quite a few times just because of the way you can get to it from where I would normally be approaching. I got a little cup of the Rochester beer cheese soup. It's kind of like this, I guess, specialty soup that they have here. It's made with Munster cheese and some beer they sell called Rochester Red. I've had it before, it's really good. This is the sesame crusted chicken. It smells really good. I got a Korean barbecue wrap. That looks really good too. Yeah, I'm excited about it. You can get sweet potato fries, and that's what I was gonna get, but the waiter didn't ask, and I forgot to say. So I guess I'm just eating oh, yeah. regular French fries, but yeah, they have like really big, thick cut sweet potatoes. And yeah. I, I like sweet potatoes, so. Aww. Oh well. So what'd you think? It's pretty good. We, it was really tasty. We've eaten there before. What'd you get last time? I got the oh. You got two chicken. You got chicken, chicken both times. Okay. The first time was monster chicken. Something. And this was sesame. Steamed vegetable. Yeah. What'd you think of it? It was good. I really liked that. It was too much food for me. This one was portions better. But. Yeah, it was quite a chunk of food. <laughs> Mine was pretty good as well. Uh, it's a pretty good restaurant. Yeah. You know, it's oh, not. Yeah. Like, it's like they have like a bunch of different types of food. Like you can get. Yeah. Fish and chips, or good variety. Yeah, uh, but it is. It's pretty good. I like the atmosphere. Yeah, that's what I, I like the atmosphere better. But the food is good. Yes. Yeah. Delicious. Yeah, I've never had any of the beer, but it looks like they make their own custom beer, and or it's like a little, little brewery. Yeah, but I mean, I don't. Who knows if that's what the beer tastes like? I don't know. <laughs> but regardless, it was pretty good. Yeah. It's a pretty little walk back to the parking lot. It's a nice quiet area over here, from what it appears to be. I don't know anything about <laughs> Rochester other than what I saw today, which is, uh, you know, things they celebrate the 4th by closing early. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who can blame you? Well, I hope you enjoyed our look around downtown Rochester, Michigan, as well as the Rochester Mills a restaurant that we ate at. I'm having kind of terrible luck doing these. I'm catching these towns at all the wrong times. Either I was on a Sunday or this was a holiday weekend so everything was closing early. But I'll try and do a better job in the future of making sure that things are going to be open and I can do things in these towns. Uh, as far as these downtown videos, this was a series that I was going to start like a year ago. I filmed one video in Fenton, Michigan and I just never got around to doing any other ones. 
I'm gonna continue that now and I think what I'm going to do is because I started in Michigan and did this one in Michigan I'm gonna do like a big block of Michigan towns uh, going around the state and I think that's how I'll handle it and then move to like another state and do towns there I may sprinkle in occasional cities or little towns uh, in between like doing Michigan videos for right now um, but who knows and I'm gonna do any town so it might be a big town or a small town I think I'm gonna avoid like the big cities I'm making more of a, a, a town like a downtown area but if it's a small one I'll try to do like two or three small ones like if you go to the little town and there's only like two or three buildings I'll try to do a couple in a video but I'm looking forward to it and hopefully you'll enjoy them so thanks for watching